Hello and welcome back. As you might know that I had released five shorts in the last few days about the next PowerPoint animation tutorials that we are going to release. So, let's begin with rocket animation in PowerPoint first. This video is just an example that how we can make a few seconds long animations in PowerPoint. I had created this animation years ago but didn't publish the tutorial. You can download this presentation and the link is given in the description. We would also like to thank Mr. Sanjay Jairath and our other patrons for their continued support. This presentation contains five slides. To check the total length of the animation, we can go to the Transition tab, and under the Advanced tab, we can note and sum up the timing of each slide. Let's first open the Animation pane from the Animations tab. The first slide we used just for the countdown animation where we placed three text boxes, where each text box is having appear as the entrance effect, and disappear as exit effect. Which you can apply by selecting the object first and then go to Animations tab, click Add Animation drop-down button, and choose Appear. Repeat the same steps but this time choose Exit Effects, Disappear. If you find trouble selecting text boxes then you can take the help of Selection Pane from where you can easily hide, unhide specific objects from the slide. So, we have applied the same effects to each of the text boxes. We are playing all the effects with previous but having a delay between each of them. You can adjust the delay between number countdown according to the background countdown voice by setting the delay timings between appear and disappear effects. Three, two. Yeah. On the second slide, you are going to see a lot of shapes and a list of lots of animation effects in the animation pane. Let's first talk about the explosion elements which we have drawn using the line shape from the insert tab. Here you can see that we have applied diagonal motion path and wipe exit effects to all these shapes. You can notice that we have drawn and moved the motion paths into different directions. Strip's exit effect has been used to make the explosion particles disappear from the slideshow. We used a very simple technique to create the smoke effect when the rocket goes up in the sky by drawing a lot of ovals behind the rocket, and then we applied appear, disappear effects to each of the smoke bubbles with very short delay timing. There are also two trees on the slide, and we used spin effects for them. We also defined the custom anchor points to the trees. If I select and rotate one of the trees, then you can notice that the line is not rotating from the base, instead, the trees are spinning like speed dials. Like, if I remove the oval group here with this tree, having no fill and outline color. And now if I rotate the tree, then it will rotate like this. Moving next to the other smoke clouds that appear after the explosion. You can see that we have applied three effects to each of these clouds drawn using the oval shape, and overlapped by a white colored rectangle, to hide half of the part of ovals. Basic zoom effect has been applied, so during the slideshow, they start zooming in from the center point, while each having motion path applied to move them into different directions. Then the clouds continue to enlarge, as we have applied the grow, shrink effect, having a growth of 200%. To shake the rocket during the explosion, we used the left motion path with auto-reverse, having a short duration of 0.15 seconds, and we are repeating this animation four times. 
The rocket moves to the left and then reverses back to the position and repeats the moves four times in a total 0.60 second duration, which creates the shaking effect. Then we have the up motion path with start smoothness to move the rocket up in the sky. On the third slide, we have drawn some funny clouds using the oval shape and moving them downwards using the down motion path. On the fourth slide, rocket is having the up motion path, and clouds are having the down motion path, which creates a nice moving scene animation during the slideshow. Here you can also see that we have duplicated the rocket, and placed the second rocket right at the end point of the motion path of the first rocket. So as the first rocket will reach the end point, then it will get disappear, and at the same time, the second rocket will appear. We duplicated the rocket because here we need to define a separate motion path. The missile in the back of the rocket is then continued to move up as it is having the up motion path. On the fifth slide, the missile touches the doom and then falls. For this, we used these animation effects. Do note the start and end positions of both motion paths, one to move up and another when the missiles fall. We also used the wedge and spin effects for the missile. Finally, the sun rises having the right motion and spin animation effects. I hope you will find this tutorial useful. Let me know by liking, sharing, and commenting. You can subscribe to our channel, and can also press the bell icon for the next tutorial notifications. Thanks for watching and have a great day.